Oh, look at that. He was pretty sideways coming off of turn four. And where did Truex come from? Man, he just stood in the throttle and caught all of them. We're hearing the one car is three laps short of fuel. We've already told you the two car is going to have to pit with three to go if they do not get a caution flag. But here he comes anyway. If he's got a pit, let's go for it, man. Let's go and show him we got the car. Yeah, he says he's three laps short. The one car did. Well, the 17 car, Matt Kent says he's three laps, and he's going for it. He's not even going to pit. Whoa, they better not wreck. If he runs these guys hard enough, he'll make them stand in the gas. Whoa, the here comes the caution flag in Atlanta. Oh, my heavens. And this is where you start turning the engine off and coasting and saving all the gas. They're going to have tires. Two oh, seconds a lap, man. They're going to have tires. Here they come. Got to have tires. Oh, Hamill stays out. Let's go down to Jamie. And, Ro and Robbie Reiser's on the radio. He said, let's go for four, boys. Let's get fuel in here. Let's get down and go. Matt Kenta said they can win it. Dave? Kyle Busch said to his crew, this is where you earn your keeps. Four-tire change. Oh, they're having a slow stop. Trouble on the right front for the five car. Allen. Kurt Busch needed this caution. He was not going to make it on fuel. Let's see if the crew can have a good stop this time and gain him some track position. Mike? The one team considered taking two tires, but Bono Mannion ruled out against that, saying if we took two, there's a very good chance we can get torn up. They went with four, and they lost a little bit of position on pit road. Take a look, Jimmy Johnson up four. Some of these guys taking two tires. McMurray up eight position. He's been creeping up there. Earnhardt Jr. up six spots. Oh, boy. Welcome back to the Brickyard 400 under our fifth caution. Make sure to go to NASCAR.com for all your latest NASCAR information. We've got debris on the racetrack and a 3.7 second lead for Juan Pablo Montoya, who has now led 84 laps and secured the five bonus points for only the third time in his career. The other two times he finished third and 11th in those races. Right now he's up front ahead of teammate Jamie McMurray, Greg Biffle third, Clint Boyer fourth, and Tony Stewart is Hi there. fifth. Planning on four. Well, let's see how it works out. It's Greg Biffle's uh, radio that we were listening on. Got to be 55 miles an hour coming down pit road. And uh, Vince, we're going to let you take it away. Well, Tony Stewart's pit crew has done a great job all day long, gaining him positions in the pits. And they need a couple of spots here as he comes in in fifth. Tony says the forward bite is the best it has been all day long. So they're going to make a slight track bar adjustment and two tires for Tony Stewart, Doc. Clint Boyer begging Shane Wilson, guys, we got to go back on the air pressure. we got to get it back the first couple laps of the restart. I can't even get the car to turn in the corner at all. They have gone back. Dave. The two leading cars from Earnhardt Ganassi Racing with Felix Sabatis will do different things. Jamie McMurray takes two from Papa Montoya. He wanted to go for four, and that's interesting because McMurray thought he might have a flat. I hope it wasn't on the left side. Wow, Montoya takes four, Biffle takes four, and look where they come out. Seventh, eighth, Boyer, ninth, Bush, tenth. The two-tire strategy by the first six cars, and Kurt Busch picks up eight spots. We'll see which strategy plays out. This is going to be good. And this is the closest sniff he has had to the race lead all day long. And he is working McMurray over right here. He might have him. Coming down the stretch. Boy, look at this. Kevin Harvick makes it look easy this time as he becomes oh, our trouble. tenth. Oh, no oh. trouble. All right at the pin in. Montoya. Yeah, we're we'll leader. It's like Montoya and Junior. Now we'll have to wait to see when the yellow came out. I do believe Kevin Harvick will stick as the race leader. It is Montoya. Juan Pablo has damage to the right side. You're right, Andy. Look at this. Oh, man, what disappointment for the team. It's good to see him having this kind of year said the biggest factor in the turnaround of this team for him was being asked by the team a year ago April to be involved to be involved in helping guide the direction of their car building and their competition and what they did and their competitive decisions said it was uh, the coolest and proudest moment of his life or one of and it's felt such a special thing to him to see this team progress forward by oh, oh, trouble. Uh, front straightaway Jamie McMurray down here clear across the south. Well, he hit it hard. That's all the makings of a right front. And this changes everything. Oh, Trying to take the 11 back to the front. Look at the race off pit road, Allen. Oh, this is going to be big. Think Denny Hamlin's got it, though. If he didn't speed to get that, he'll be in good shape. Fitz Gordon on the inside on the restart. 
Denny Hamlin, Martin Truex Jr., Jeff Gordon, Kevin Harvick, Brad Keselowski, Matt Kenseth, and two laps to decide it. Pace car is off. Who wins it? Truex struggles. Gordon bitten on Hamlin for the race lead. That's Dale Earnhardt Jr. looking for fourth place on the inside, the white and blue car. needs this win. Trying to get the handle. Half a lap left. Got a good run off two. Oh, he's got a chance. Great finishes in Atlanta off turn four. Denny will get up. No. Denny oh, Hamlin yeah. takes the checkered flag and wins in Atlanta. To the line, Denny Hamlin in the 11 has pretty clear racetrack in front of him right now. Steve, they are catching Hamlin, even uh -oh. though they're side by side. Something's Denny, Hamlin, fire, Denny fire. Hamlin has a flat tire, Mike. He just said they're gonna get me. I've got a flat tire. Oh man, be sure. Be sure. Let's see if we can see anything, Larry. I'm down to front stretch. Stay away from the wall if you can so I can look at it. Right front looked a little soft. Maybe it should. It's hard to tell right now, but they are definitely catching him. Look at these two side by side behind him. Boy, I just don't, I don't know, Larry. It's hard to say. It, it, it's not, there it may be going down, but it's not down. No, that right front's rolling over all the way to the yellow letters. God, if, if it's me, you cannot, you gotta be sure, man. You right can't side, take a chance. Oh, Junior's there on the outside and Bush is there on the inside. Flag, you just, God. When you get this late in a race, you always hear things. You always Look feel out right things. here, those Whoa. three wide off turn two. That can't work. But it did. <laughs> and Dale Earnhardt Jr. comes out with the lead. They'll be coming to 17 laps to go. That's the way to do it, baby. That's the way to do it. Come on. Stay focused. 17 that to go. You're the man. That was come a power move. Get it. It's there. Well, I'll tell you what. As we'll be coming to 10 to go, Dale Earnhardt Jr. in this 88 car, he has checked out to almost a second lead over Kyle Busch in that 18. Nice Biggest thing Dale Earnhardt Jr. does not need right now is a caution. He does not need a caution. Every one of Jr.'s laps is a tenth of a second go, quicker than Kyle Busch. Oh, the 11. There goes the tire. Turn three and four. He just and, lost it. And, and he it can't couldn't get happen to the at a worse place because can't he's not going to make road. it around. That'll be. He'll draw the caution sitting there. He didn't need a caution. Junior didn't need a caution. There's the caution. What a shame. A slow leak in the right front tire robs Denny Hamlin of victory and now will cost him a lead lap finish. And I'm going to tell you what, this is where those crew chiefs will earn their money down there right now because we talked about the Nationwide Series race last night. These tires now have about 30 laps on them. And trust me, fresh tires will prevail here. When we get back to racing, it will be a single file restart, but too. You've got 16 cars on the lead lap. You know at least half of them are going to come to pit road. But I don't know about the front half. Right. Dale Earnhardt Jr. trying to end the drought for Junior Nation. The longest of his career that he has gone without a win. Now pit road is open as Daryl mentioned. We've got Jeff Gordon that's come to pit road. We pretty much got the guys from about seventh back coming to pit road just as anticipated. Bad news gets worse for Hamlin for stopping on track to draw the caution. NASCAR is going to park him for two laps. Junior. Kyle Busch, Clint Boyer, Mark Martin, Tony Stewart, Martin right, Truex. The green, or will it be the first of the car with fresh tires? That's Kevin Harvick. Or Casey Kane, Ryan Newman, Carl Edwards. Five to go. Green flag. Oh, the 18. He fun spun the tires. Big, big time. And that lets the 07 Clint Boyer pull right up there. And there goes Mark Martin in that Army car. 
Going to get interesting. Junior went up the hill pretty high, but I think that's his line. And Harvick's coming. He's the first car on fresh tires. He's inside of Truex into turn three. You know, after losing the race last night because he didn't get tires, it'd be kind of fun if Harvick could get back up there. I think he'll gain some positions. I'm just not sure he's going to have enough laps to get up there to these top two or three. Four to go. They just got blocked real big time going into turn one. Boy, uh, Kyle Busch got a great run off turn two down the back straightaway. You one. know he'll pack it down into turn three. Oh, he's boogieing down in there, baby. But he's... will it stick? And Junior gives him the bottom. June Bar Bugs, washes up. June Bugs got that high line. He wants to run it, but I tell you, that 18 is going to get under him right here. Three to go. Here he goes. Junior goes up the hill. Let's see if he can get a bite on the bottom of the racetrack. They'll be side by side down the back straightaway. Oh, man, that was tight off turn two. He's got him. I believe he's got him this time. Oh, he turned him. No. Oh, he turned him. Oh, no. no. Thing, Kyle Busch makes contact with Dale Earnhardt Jr. And it looks like the drought will continue. Boys, I just tell you something, that ain't going to go over too good right there. No, it's not. I love the little old boy to death, but that was not a good move right there. I was afraid of that when it got side by side late in the race on old tires. Welcome back to the Power Stroke Diesel 200 live on speed. Johnny Sauter about to take over. Well, he's got the lead, but he's about to take over Carl Edwards, who's in 11th position right now. This may be one of the most critical times right here for Johnny Sauter. He's got to have patience right now. Just take it easy. He's got almost, he's got almost a 10-second lead. Just take his time to get by these guys. They're racing hard. They want to stay on the lead lap, but he's got to pick and choose his sponsor. Do not make contact with either one of these trucks. Don't go through the middle, Johnny. Uh-oh. We got all oh, it. Caution has come out. There is debris on the track. NASCAR is calling. And that brings out caution number seven. Now you see why those guys were racing so hard in front of him, in front of the leader, trying to stay on the lead lap, and they were able to do that. They caught the caution. I don't know. You know, <laughs> he's so fast that, uh, you know, he could have taken a chance of running out of fuel, wrecking, but I don't know. You're right. Maybe they might gang up on him and go for the lead. Well, all of, I'm, I'm surrounded by drivers up here. As, as <laughs> arguing, a driver, arguing, arguing. As a driver, Johnny Sauter has to look in his rearview mirror right now and see what we would call a short track ace in the truck series. Dennis Setzer are right behind him, and now from a 10-second gap to, oh, he's right on my bum. Well, Johnny knows he's got a better truck because his crew chief was telling him, hey, you're continuing to run the fastest laps of the race. Here we got some, we got some guys coming down pit road here, which is a bit of a surprise, Ray. Hey, these guys had to wait to the very last second to decide for Travis Quaffle in his Nuts.com Toyota. They weren't sure what to do. Travis said, I hate to give up that track position. What should we do? And they said at the very last second, come on, let's do it. Let's try to win this thing. Now, for Bobby Hamilton and his square D Dodge, he had no choice. He was going backwards rapidly. And Bobby said, you know what we need? We want an air pressure adjustment on the right front and four tires for his truck. The, the 99 truck of Carl Edwards was in for four tires and adjustments. He was getting ready to go a lap down, so that caution was perfect timing for Carl Edwards. They went a half a pound down on the right front and around up on the track bar. They also stabbed it with a little fuel just to be safe. Okay, Ken, you still you still happy now that the caution came out? Everybody behind you pitted. You're Johnny Saudi, you're leading. At a 10-second lead, now everybody behind you's pitted and put fresh tires on. Drama. Total drama. <laughs> everybody has tires except Sauter. Welcome back to the Indianapolis 200, live at IRP. Johnny Sauter's lead shrinking ever so slightly, but it is eliminating. It sure is. Travis Quapple is catching him at the bottom pace of about two tenths of a second a lap. And problems on the back stretch. Steve Park spins as he comes out of turn number two, and that brings out caution number eight. Well, that's going to eliminate the lead that Johnny Sauter had, but he's going to let his tires cool a little bit, and we're going to have that many less laps to finish this thing. And we're not going to have lap trucks on the inside, so it's going to be a shootout. These guys, uh, you know, Johnny still has a fast truck, but those new tires, I mean, they may have the air pressure up. Welcome back to the Power Stroke Diesel 200. The caution lights are out on the pace truck. It makes its way down pit road. There are five laps remaining. Johnny Sauter in front. Hey, let me tell you something. I don't know about you guys, but I've got goosebumps. There's fresh tires, there's old tires. Who's going to win it? 
All the fans are on their feet. A packed house here. Johnny Sauter back into the gas. The green flag flies. Travis Quaffle, Chad Chaffin, Bobby Hamilton, and the 99 of Carl Edwards are your top five. A good restart by Johnny Sauter. Let's see what the new tires of Travis Quaffle can do with them. Johnny Sauter again an impressive restart as he puts three truck links between himself and Travis Quaffle. Or Travis really gained through the center of the corner, but then Johnny gets off the corner good. I don't think I've seen anything like this in a long time. How can 100 lap tires outrun brand new tires? Johnny Sauter's got the most incredible setup underneath this truck I've seen in a long time. 100 lap tires are beating brand new tires. Hey, Kenny, you and Greg aren't going to remember that for tomorrow night's Bush race, are you? No, absolutely not. Hey, let me tell you something. Johnny Sauter has something nobody's seen in a long time. This is unbelievable. Absolutely. Under three laps to go for Johnny Sauter. Travis Quapple closing the gap now as they go down the back straight. Ah, Here comes He's Travis Quapple the on the inside. Travis Quapple tries to make the pass. Johnny Sauter holds him off as they go through three and four. Something's wrong with him. Something wrong with Sauter. Looking like he's losing all his forward by the bump the corner. Let's watch and see if he sets him up here. Two to go. Here he goes on the inside. Travis Quapple got a good bite to make the pass. Johnny blocked him a little bit there, used a little bit of the racetrack up, coming down for the white flag this time. Johnny Sauter has nothing to lose. These guys are racing for the championship. Here we go. Contact. The white flag flies. They're side by side as they go across the start finish line. Watch on Chad the outside, Chad Chapman making the pass. He tries to take it away on the outside. On the inside, it's Travis Quapple. Johnny Sauter trying to hold on on the final lap. They're side by side. Chapman on the outside makes the move. As they come out of turn number four, it'll be a drag race to the start finish line. And Chad Chapman will win the Power Stroke Diesel 200. What a job by Chad Chapman. Johnny Sauter was so concerned about Travis Quaffle that Chad Chapman. They're wrecking all over in turn one. They've gone crazy. This, this, this. <laughs> <laughs> they, Gordon looks inside. Johnson gives him just enough room but gets the drive off the corner and keeps the lead. Five laps to go. That's Wait. where Jimmy in that 48's been so strong, Darrell, over these last 100 laps off the corner. Yeah, and he'll give him that inside getting in because he knows he's got that good line coming off. It gives him a good shot off the corner. And a huge traffic jam ahead of them right there. All right, now you see... Bump. Now you see Jeff Gordon. What he's trying Bump. to do now, he's going to get that run off on the high side and then dive down right here. Rudiman has two flats. He may not make it to the pits. They are side by side for the lead. This is where Gordon will pack it down into turn three right there. I think he'll get him right here. Starter has the caution in hand. No, that's the passing flag. Rudiman has stopped and under yellow. Now the drivers that were close on fuel, this is not what you wanted to see right here. I have no idea why David Rudeman did not go to the pits Dave while ago. David has been called to the NASCAR hauler to meet with officials after the race for bringing out that caution and not pitting. Pace car is in. First attempt at a green-white checker. Jeff Gordon, Jimmy Johnson at the front. Clint Boyer and Brad Keselowski trying to steal one here. Green flag. Hey, Ryan Newman, he, sh he gave Boyer a shot getting out of the turn line. Three wide, three wide. There goes they Newman. Newman's going to take the lead. That's exactly what I knew would happen. That was not pretty. When, when you look at it, you'll see. Uh, oh, look at this mess. Steve? Uh, Jeff Gordon just said they're out of fuel, Mike. 24 says he's out of fuel. Now, Gordon stayed on the racetrack. Jimmy Johnson pitted. Gordon stayed out. Shaking the car back and forth. And did we get one to go? We did not. No. They'll push him, man. They'll push him. Gordon's car is coming to a halt. They'll push him. Not too late for that. And See, Jeff I'm Gordon, who could have won it, is now kind of coasting. We ran almost identical times the last lap. Can he do it? It's going to be hard. At this point, I don't know that he's got a car that's able to, to run the lap times. Has to be overheating that right rear tire.
Yeah, that car is really moving around. Ryan Truex's car is, and Logano, he is just on it right now. I mean, six laps to go is a long way around this racetrack as fast as Joey Logano is catching Truex. Oh, now he he's doesn't need to look out. Yeah, look wrong out. That's time. trouble. Wow. Yeah, he did not Here need that. Logano. Logano. That killed him. That yep. killed him. Hang on. No. New leader, Joey Logano. Stay with him. Five to go. Stay with him. One lap to go. Bring it home, bud. Bring it home. There's your, there's your stories of the day summed up in that one camera shot. The six all beaten up and off the pace, and the 18 out front leading. For Joey Logano, he's going to have led 154 of 200 laps. He's going to pick up another win at Dover. And Joe Gibbs Racing gets a one, two, three sweep. Logano wins it. Truex second. Brian Scott third. Who will win it? Sam Hornish Jr. is out in front. But he is almost a second slower than Martin Truex Jr. And he will need another pit stop. Yeah, he was one of those drivers that came to pit road at lap 188 and changed tires and topped off the fuel so he can go much further. But the problem is he's over a second a lap slower than these other drivers. But... A caution for Sam Hornish Jr. here would be a beautiful thing for him. I, I, I don't want to. I don't want to jinx the 56 car, but all of a sudden lap times are a lot quicker for the uh, for Denny Hamlin, and he is closing that gap back down that Truex had driven away from. Him. Right now, the 11 car is faster than 56 and catching him in a hurry. I believe. I, I can't. I hate to even say this, but it looks like the 56 is slowing down. Hornish makes his pit stop. Truex goes back the lead. Matt? Mike, four laps ago, Martin Truex said simply, this is a, this race car has absolutely been all day. And Chad Johnson told him the sun is out. Everyone's experiencing it. Just trying to hang in there. Well, Mike, when this run started, Denny Hamlet said, my car is a little bit tight. Gary and Grubb said, it's all right. You make two adjustments. It'll come to you. Denny Hamlet just said, Anymore. Nope, he got a great run, Steve, off turn number two. He has all but cleared Truex, slides up in front of him, and Hamlin is setting sail for the checkered flag. You could see right there off the exit of four how loose Martin Truex Jr. in that 56 car is getting. Looks like got a little more grip, got off the turn four just a little bit better that time. Better. He took a big chunk out that time, about a tenth and a half on that lap. And Larry, it was all, he kind of dropped it down a little bit as he exited four. He got a really nice run. Boy, this is going to, this is not going to be, this is a nail biter right here. They're going to be bumper to bumper on the white flag. Truex drives to the bottom. Hamlin up top. It's a bonsai. It was a dive bomb move. Clear, Larry. Sideways. He was within a car length. You know what he said? Mikey said, this is my shot. I got to go now. I think that's all he had. And he gave it a shot, that's for sure. Two to go. Does Truex have one more chance? He lost a, He lost so much ground. I, I really, I, I love what he did, but he may have done it a little too soon. He's got draft off that slower car. But the gap is four car lengths. And Denny Hamlin face the white flag. You know why? I, I like Truex. Surprising. He thinks I'm on a lap. I'm going to do it now. It was the right time. It was the right move. The car just would not stick for it. One lap car in front of them. As two Toyotas duel to the finish on the final Kansas. Jimmy Johnson, three back. Here goes Truex again. He's going to try it. <laughs> right down to the bottom. They're almost even. He slides up a car length back, and that's all he's got. Can't Denny make... Hamlin gets his 19th career Sprint Cup win and his second of the season. Yeah, Truex tried it, but he couldn't make it stick.